So this research, which happened right in our backyard, shows that coronavirus common to animals can infect and spill over into people more frequently than scientists initially thought. A just published study in Nature, one of the top scientific journals in the world, has discovered a pig coronavirus strain in humans. University of Florida researchers have been monitoring viruses in hundreds of Haitian children for years. Around 2014, blood samples were collected from three kids with fevers. At the time, researchers couldn't identify why the children were sick. Fast forward years later, the pandemic hits. The world shuts down, and scientists at UF's Emerging Pathogens Institute get to work, reevaluating those three blood samples from the children. To their surprise, scientists found the kids who only had a mild mystery illness had been infected with a pig coronavirus. This was a first. Dr. J. Glenn Morris Jr. is the study's senior author. Uh, and actually, there were two different pig coronaviruses that we identified um, that appear to have uh, moved from pigs into human populations. What it does is underscore the, the plasticity of the coronavirus, the fact that it can change, make internal changes, um, move into new species. Translation, and tackling COVID by staying one step ahead of variants will be more difficult than once thought. Dr. Morris tells me coronaviruses are divided into four major groups, alpha, beta, delta, and gamma. Scientists believed only the alpha and beta coronavirus groups can infect people, but this new study shows delta coronaviruses that infect pigs can also spill over into humans. Dr. Morris no longer believes it's rare to see the movement of coronaviruses from other species into humans. It's something we need to continue to look at carefully because ultimately our concern is to try to identify variants and new variants before they get too far. I think part of trying to prevent further pandemics is being able to know in advance what might happen so that we can prepare for it. Dr. Morris says while most spillover infections are not serious, the public health sector needs to immediately increase COVID surveillance and animal populations. The same team recently reported a second and separate example of an animal coronavirus infecting a person. Now, that case involved a strain known to infect dogs. The scientists believe that moving forward, in order to control this virus, we need to track and to monitor coronavirus, not just in humans, but also in animals.